right, it's nine o'clock and I am here. Um, we have one little change due to the debate. Um, I We have moved Elena's boutique to Sunday night, so she will be joining me Sunday night. We'll go over several of the items, but I did wanna go ahead and unbox and get this out to everyone. So I'm super excited. So look forward to everybody joining me. Um, so let's get started. So with Tate and Zoe, um, the whole premise behind it is cheerful giving, um, changing lives with a gift. So when you get your box, it basically comes whatever size you get. And it has a nice little, you've been gifted. And when you open it up, woo, the confetti. Fun, fun, fun. Um, and you also get little notes that you can um, pre-sign for, um, or put your message in for whoever you're getting the gift for. Whenever I have my stuff shipped to me, I always get them blank because that way, if I want to re, you know, actually package the gift myself and give it to them in person, I can, you know, do a little handwritten note. So, um, we are going to unbox tonight. So we have just launched our "Tis the Season" gift fix. We have two um, gifted artists, and super excited about their stuff. And uh, let's get started. Let's see what's in this box. So. I want y'all to all get back to the debate, right? Who picks the middle of the debate to do their unboxing? Me. So, but hey, this could be a, a bit of relief for some of you who didn't really wanna watch it in the first place. So, I am going to do my unboxing. So I'm gonna pull things out. Lots of confetti. Pull that out. And obviously we package things really well too, so. All right, so let's, start with our first, our gifted artist. So, um, and feel free to ask questions, comment, um, really would appreciate that. I can certainly follow back up with you. But our first gifted artist is Bridget Rowley. She uh, founded Canines and Couture in 2013, and it was to basically bring awareness to puppy mills. And um, she's designs um, for us, for, specifically for Tate and Zoe, she has designed a line of beanies and slipper socks. So this is the first, love this color. It's, um, I'm not a cat person, this is the cat love, but I will uh, put that on. The gray one, we have a gray one that is puppy love. So depending on if you're a dog person or a cat person, but this is super warm, I'm super excited about it especially because I don't know where any of my warm stuff is since the fire and it's all in boxes somewhere. No idea where it is and it's getting cold. So kind of glad I have this. All right, so that is Bridget Rowley. That's the hat she's uh, designed for us. And let's see the next thing. So we have our um, cozy slipper socks. These are so cute. So obviously it's got the grips, so you don't go slipping and sliding on the hardwoods. Um, these are the Puppy Love uh, ones, so it goes, they match the beanie, so the the socks for the cat matches this hat, cat and hat. Um, and then these match the dog beanie there. So these are actually like very substantial socks and they are super cozy. Come, cute little package. And then they've got the little love, and again, they've got the grips on them. So um, you won't be like Tom Cruise, like sliding across the floor. Um, <laughs> if, if you have these on, but super cozy. So, so excited for these for the winter time. And in my house, we are with the fire. I'm sorry I keep bringing up the fire, but it kind of fits. Uh, we are going to be actually not replacing the carpet with carpet. We're going to be going in with hardwood. So now it's going to be nice to uh, have these on that cold floor, especially at Christmas. All right, let's see what else we got here. I think this is a candle. So our um, stuff comes boxed in these nice little white boxes. So even if you don't want to send a gift, you can always order these and then give them like in a gift bag and use our confetti and, you know, reuse that. Uh, but this is our online shopping candle online shopping smells like i hope my husband isn't home when my orders arrive who just bought a ton of stuff on prime day my husband's like seriously you have a problem 
Ooh, oh, that smells so good. It smells so clean. It's 100% soy wax. It's a 40 hour burn time and it burns clean. So you don't get all that black smoke. And we've got several different ones. We've got one for um, podcasts. And my girl Tara came up with this saying, smells like I need self-help, but learned how to solve cold cases instead. Whoop, little connection problem there. And then good vibes. So this is just a cool little fun candle. It smells like too many music festival selfies and too little clothing. <laughs> Wouldn't know about that. I don't really go to music festivals, but maybe my girl Lindsay would because she follows, what is it, Panic? Yeah, she follows Panic everywhere. Um, okay, moving on to the next thing because I know I told you I'll keep y'all maybe 15 minutes. What we got here? This is our Gather Stoneware Pinch Jar. So we have another gifted artist, Lafayette Avenue Ceramics. So Jillian Schimmel um, founded this uh, ceramics company and she named it for the street in New Jersey where her family is from, just to pay homage to the place where so many were made, so many memories were made around the table. So this is a line of um, ceramic stoneware that we are carrying. And just a little bit of feedback, of information on Jillian. So she was diagnosed with thyroid cancer in 2011, and she was a student at a Arizona State University. So she started researching like good nutrition, reflecting on what makes life worth living, and she knew cooking and family gathered around. And so she ended up getting a degree in ceramics and degree in fine arts, and created this line. And this, um, so Lafayette, Ab I can't talk. Lafayette Avenue Ceramics, and she created this line specifically for Tate and Zoe. But look how cute that is. It's a pinch jar. So, like, you can put, you know, salt, you know, just a little pinch of salt. Um, but look at that. That's so pretty. Such a great blue color and really can go with so many different. I know a lot of people are doing, like, more whites and grays and stuff like that in their kitchen, but that is just so cool. Um, I saw another picture with some stuff in it and I can't remember what it was now. You can do like a little candy jar if you wanted to. Um, but it's just, like I said, a little pinch jar and it's got a seal so nothing in it will get ba go bad and spoil or get stale. Um, but that is really, really nice. I'm super excited about that. I'm gonna have to get the whole line now. Like it's not even funny. And I'm just, I guess I should be telling you prices. So basically this, this retails, this is so substantial. Um, this retails for $18. So that's, that's pretty good. This retails for $18 and the socks retail for $16 and the candle is 22 and that's as far as I've got at this point. So let's keep going. All right. So we have got our tea towels and this one is my jam my jam i freaking love cheese i think this just flipped on me yep i had it flipped around so y'all can see um what is it i freaking love cheese yes i do love cheese so it, it's like a dark blue almost black denim -y color um but who doesn't love a good little tea towel for gifts for people, especially at Christmas? These are good to have in your little gift closet. And that way at the last minute, if you're headed out to a bunko night or any kind of gift exchange, white elephant, these are great. And these are retail for $16. And I love cheese. And we have other, um, other ones as well, like I Can't Cook. You're not drinking alone if the dog is home. You're not drinking alone if the cat is home. So obviously we've got a little thing going with animals, cats and dogs this year. So we'll toss that to the side and go for the next one. All right. I feel like I'm on a timer here. <laughs> I think I'm doing good. I think I'm doing good. All right. So um, this is, let me find my notes on that. So this is gonna be our spiraling cutting board. It's bamboo cutting board. It folds into itself. So you can choose how, what size and everything you wanna use. Dishwasher safe. It includes the cheese board and two cheese knives, which can be stored actually inside of it. Super cool. So it's the perfect gift for a hostess, housewarming, family chef. Um, it's just a versatile piece that you can fold up for very easy storage. 
And um, yeah, so let's pull that out. Yeah. And it comes in this little box right here. Very safe and secure. Pulling it out. Look at that. Very hardy and bamboo. And, and supposedly bamboo, like, I've heard, like, it's, it doesn't hold all the, like, nasty smells and stuff if you use it and you wash it and stuff like that, like some cutting boards do. So I'm going to open this up because I'm super excited about it, especially for entertaining. Um, I'm actually going out of town with friends this weekend, and I am entertaining. We're going to a winery. Sorry to be all in your grill there. We're going to a winery, and I have none of my serving stuff, and I've got, like, charcuterie and crudite and things like that, and I had really no way to serve it. Um, so I was just going to pull, like, a, I don't know. It was not going to be pretty. It was going to be, like, paper plates. So anyway, so we've got this. So voila, it opens up. I think I have it upside down, maybe. No, I don't. So yeah, so you could have it. Okay, we're going. We're getting. We're getting there, y'all. You could have it like this, or you can fold out like a deck of cards, all three. And then these are your cutters, servers, and they store in it so if you're going to like for instance we do like a sunday school um potluck one at christmas time my sunday school class so this is great to take because you're not having to figure out okay where's this where's the fork where's the spoon where's the knife all that stuff it literally is i don't want to spill things out but it's it's right here and you just tuck it in and you put it tuck it away i don't know why i'm raising it over my head um but yeah and this retails for $70. But if you are gonna find any kind of cheese serving bamboo, high quality, you're gonna pay 70 plus dollars for something like that. But this is gonna last such a long time. So that's awesome. Um, okay, just a few more things. I'm saving kind of the jewelry for last. All right. Let me see, big box, which means big item, which I love. And this is gonna retail for $48. This, I can't even get it out. This, that's how you know it's really pa packaged in there well. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So this goes with the, um, the Lafayette Avenue ceramics. Look how big that is. I mean, you see my head. See, it's big. Um, but look at that. This is awesome. And it's hand painted. This is just, I mean, this is so cool. This would be great on a kitchen table. You can put fruit in it. Um, you can do a big, you know, when you're at Thanksgiving, you could do a big thing of mashed potatoes when you've got like 10 plus people because it's that big. Obviously I'm showing you my head and it's that big and you can kind of see how deep deep it is but look how pretty that is and it's so shiny oh my gosh I definitely am gonna be getting this whole line like not even lying about it so y'all need to buy some stuff so I can, <laughs> I can buy my, so I can buy my stuff um, but yeah so that is $48 but again any kind of serving piece if you go to Macy's or does anybody go to Macy's anymore? But if you were to go get a nice piece of ceramic, like really detailed, you're supporting a gifted artist, small business, small female owned business in doing this also. Not only my small business, female owned business, but, but Lafayette Avenue Ceramics too. So it's not big box. You're not gonna find this in big box. And um, yeah, so it's, um, if you were to go to a big box store and try and find a really good set with a serving bowl that's this big you're gonna pay more than 48 dollars. i can assure you because i remember how much it was when i was registering even though that was a long time ago the pieces we got were jasper conran and they were expensive um okay almost done a couple more things so we have we're doing a couple cuffs, and this is gonna be our cheetah ring cuff bracelet. This is very on trend right now. I was actually at a shop that my friend owns, 
and here in Raleigh and I saw some of these in similar puffs in there but we are super excited about um, the ones we have um, this one retails for $21 and it is our cheetah cuff so y'all can see that so a lot of people don't you know if they don't if they're not wearing watches but they're used to having something chunky on the wrist but they don't want to wear a watch um i'll put it on this wrist it's just something to just if you're wearing all black you know this cheetah one's pretty cool because it just gives you a bit of a pop of color and animal print and it can't go wrong with animal print it's it is bam i didn't i didn't really tighten it so but there it is, the cuff. Um, let me see what else I can say about this. Let me put that there. So as far as the cheetah cuff, it's vegan leather. It's a gold, it's got gold ring hardware, but obviously, like I said, on trend, fun bracelet, you can dress up or you can dress down. Um, it, it's adjustable, so depending on who has tiny wrists, I have a very tiny, I, it may not look like it in the, picture but I have very small wrists um and these are our Kelly hoops so kind of go together so you can get a little cool little gift for uh any of your friends out there and then two more things and then we're done and what time is it oh I'm over sorry y'all two minutes over y'all don't care I'm sure the debate is very boring right now so I'm sure I'm more entertaining than the two of those old men. Okay, so I'm gonna open this. This is our, um, these, I saw somebody's husband have one on his wrist. He had warrior. Um, I think he does like the warrior dash, not warrior dash, is it warrior dash or like those Iron Men and all that kind of stuff. So this actually could be for a guy because it's, I mean, it's gray. This one says inspire. But we have some that say warrior and breathe. Um, but yeah, it's, it's uh, this is, um, let me find the little note on that. This is genuine gray leather with adjustable two snaps. It's just a statement piece for encouragement for teacher, friend, family member, somebody who's an inspiration to you. You know, maybe somebody's gonna run a marathon. You can get them something to say good luck. Um, it's adjustable, it's neutral, it can go really guy or girl. Um, you know, there are guys out there that do wear these things. So I'm gonna snap this on. Again, I have tiny wrists, so I'm gonna put it, well, I'm just gonna get it to go right now. Bam, bam, inspire. But it's just something right now, I mean, especially with COVID, it's like we all get kind of down, so it's kind of nice to be able to like have that and like, you look down, you're like, yep inspired um or breathe um and all of these you'll find on my on my shop so i will um it's tateandzoe.com slash backslash forward slash i never remember what it is um ashley rainy cox so last but not least are the um kindred um friendship circle necklaces we have them in a set of three four and two so um, I'm gonna pull these out. I'm making a huge mess. I need an assistant. Um, we talked about that. Yeah, so the Kindred Souls necklaces, you can get a set of four, set of three, set of two. So if you got like you and your daughter, you and your mom, you and your mother-in-law, you know, you and your best friend or your three other best friends, I have, there's five of us. So I'm definitely putting in to have a one with five. Um, it's 18 karat gold plated, 16 to 18 inch adjustable chain, nickel and lead free. It's just a modern day friendship necklace. You don't have the little hearts that are broken in half, making it look kind of sad. To be quite honest, as best friends, you don't need to do that anymore. But it's just, it's, um, it's just a meaningful gift, you know, like I said, for your mom or where am I at? Um, just very simple, simple design. So I'm going to open this up real quick and then I will let y'all get back to two angry men that are fighting, I'm sure. Um, hold on a oh, and just a little plug. We've still got these on the site. So I, it's an Enneagram wine glass. I'm a six. 
What's the worst that can happen? Well, I don't know. Your house could catch on fire. 2020. What's the worst that can happen? But I'm drinking an apple cider mimosa. If you want the recipe, it's champagne or Prosecco, whatever you float your boat. And apple cider. And you can rim the glass with cinnamon sugar. So put cinnamon sugar in a bowl, mix it up, rim the glass. Um, it doesn't really stick to the plastic glass that I'm using, but if you have actual wine glasses or champagne flutes, it works. And for the fall, it's delicious. So apple cider, um, not apple cider vinegar. Did I say apple cider vinegar? Apple cider, champagne and Prosecco. Again, whatever floats your boat. And uh, cinnamon sugar. I don't have cinnamon sugar, so it's just apple cider and champagne. So this is the Kindred Souls necklace. So you can see, so if the other person would have one that would go this way, or I don't even know which way I'm going here, that way. And um, so it would make a complete circle. So I've got the set of two. So I am probably going to give this to my sister. If she's on, hey Lauren, got a little something coming your way. Just because we've gotten a lot closer in the last year or so to the point where she's even asked me to be her assistant. Um, I may take her up on that sometime. But anyway, as you can see, there's two of them. So if you were to put, well, I can't really do it here. If you were to put them together, it's a circle. But we have the ones that, we have this set of four. So it looks like that. And we also have a set of three. But um, yeah, so that is pretty much my unboxing. I took a little bit longer than expected. I do apologize for that, but I tend to talk a lot. And some of you on here know that because you know me for a long time. But I appreciate you staying with me. And um, how cute is that? I'm super excited about that. But I would love to earn your business. Um, if you would like to host us, I am actually, for anyone who hostesses um, between now and the um, end of November, I'm actually going to put all of you in a... Um, all my hostesses are going to go into a drawing and you are going to get your choice of this right here um the pinch jar or where is it at i'm gonna find it here or these mugs these are the mugs that go with the lafayette and i i don't have them i need to get them they're so cute so um, i'm gonna put all my hostesses between now and the end of november into a drawing for that for free so if you host us i would love to talk to you about that and we can do it on facebook we can do it on instagram it really doesn't matter um where whatever floats your boat people i'm happy to do it and um i would love to earn your business you know obviously amazon just had their prime day i'm sure jeff jeff bezos made a lot of money on that <laughs> but um, we have a lot of really cute stuff and, um, you can go to my site. I will, um, it, it's actually, um, my, my link is in my bio, so you can click the link in the bio. Um, my girl Elena is having a hostess event. We're going to, obviously, like I said before, we're going to go live on Sunday because she didn't want to miss the debate and some of her friends didn't want to miss the debate. So we totally just didn't think about that when we scheduled it. So she's got an active link right now too. So I will post that and obviously um, we can put that on, on her party. And if I do this for you and someone orders from a live that's not at your party, I'm happy to do the same. But anyway, um, if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. I'm so glad you joined me and I will give you back your night. Thank you so much.